Yeah, good morning, Lloyd Dussel, Senior. Check it in. I hope this video is going to work out such as it is. Today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is the day that I try to cook up a lunchtime meal for a friend of mine who comes and visits. And we have a good take to take conversations, and uh, I get to test out my creations on his palate. <laughs> so this morning I'm going to make an attempt at uh, some stir fry here. This is going to be stir fry, uh, actually stir fry ham using a ham steak. Um, I got all the ingredients measured out for, because I usually just do it on the fly and thought this time, well, if I'm going to try to do this, maybe I can make a video and maybe it'll work and maybe it won't. But anyways, I'll give you a quick readout of the ingredients. It's three quarters of a cup of diced carrots. And with the diced carrots, I give them about, uh, oh, maybe three minutes in the microwave and some water in a, in a dish so that they kind of parboil them so they're not like rocks. And I, for this recipe, I've got a cup and a half of uh, fresh red pepper, all diced up, and a cup, ha one and a half cups of broccoli, one and a quarter cups of diced onion, and uh, one cup of diced mushrooms, and this is eight ounces of ham steak, which ends up being about one and three quarters a cup when you chop it all, and, you know, cube it up, and three cups of rice. And for the rice, I'm going to add a one and a, I've added one and a half tablespoons of, of soy sauce, and I use cucumins because I find it's a little less salty tasting to me, but that's for anybody's taste. So I use, like I said, one and a half tablespoon mixed in with the rice, which I have set up to, to fry. I already have some eggs that I want to cook up to add to this mess, and I'm going to fry up everything, and it'll probably eventually end up in this pan on the back burner as, as a things progress. So I'm going to see if I can get rolling with this. I'm not used to working under the pressure of a camera, but uh, let's see if we can't get some of this rice cooking up. Till it gets browned up a little bit. Hopefully, it's not going to stick. And uh, I will turn off the camera for a minute, two or three. And while I'm doing this, there's no need to watch me stir this. I think most people get the idea. So we'll check back in. Okay, I'm back. I've got this pretty well fried up to the consistency I want. It's got to stick a little bit to the bottom, but that's that's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to move that over and I'll clean that up and press on with the mission here. What I'm going to do is take that contents of that frying pan and after I grab myself a pot holder, I will move it all into this one. Now this pan here in the back is on a very low simmer just to keep everything warm. I'm scraping all that good junk off the bottom. It's all going to go in there. Whatever comes off of the frying pan, it's going in there. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, if you get old of these cast iron frying pans, you start to get heavy for some reason or other. There we go. All right. Probably could have had a little bit more rice, but we'll see what develops. That had three cups of rice in it. Probably could have had four, but we'll see. All right, okay, we're gonna get some eggs cooking here in a minute. Turn the camera off for a second while I clean things a little teeny bit. 
Well, I'm back. Yes, sir. Well, I have some more <coughs> magic formula bacon fat in the pan. So it's quite well lubricated. I have four eggs that I kind of busted up pretty good and whipped up. And I'm going to attempt to put that in here and see what happens. So we get some nice egg to mix in with the rice and the rest of the goodies. Enough, and I'm getting little chunks, which is what I want. Get the liquid out. Oh my, my! There we go. Well, I'm just about there. I wait too much longer, it's all gonna stick. Do what I want. So. All right, take the cover off of that. Grab my trusty pot holder. Camera, you can get an idea of what the consistency is. Well, that's what the consistency is. I'll get the rest of that in there. Necessary to do that, but nonetheless, we did it. All right, oh, most excellent. starting to uh, turn to a liquid, which is what I wanted. To be ready for the veggies and goodies, the other goodies. Well, 
nice thing about these recipes, if it don't turn out perfect, you can say, oh, I needed more rice, or I needed less of this, or more of that. Adjust accordingly. So this is a an experiment. I've done this before, and it's, I never, probably never do it exactly the same way each time. So, we're going to cook in here if I can. Alright, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, we got onions. Well, they're going in. Alright. And some broccoli. Alright. How about that red pepper? Yes, sir. favorite mushrooms. And these are portobellos. Couldn't get the regular button stems and pieces at the supermarket. For the last two or three months it's like this uh, been a drought. Alright, I'm going to see about cooking this up a little bit. Put all those carrots in there. Get everybody in. For the ham, which we're going to go in a little bit. vegetables. I'm going to turn off the camera so at least the watch will be stir this for the next 10, 15, 20 minutes. I will also be adding some stir fry to this mix here. It's a uh, teriyaki stir fry. So I'm adding that to the front to what I'm frying up here. No measurement on that one. It's the, if it looks good, probably tastes good. stirring. Well, I don't know what I got here, but anyways, I took the food out of the stainless steel pan. I, my camera might have shut off on me. I'm not sure. So I'll know when I look at the video. About a cast iron pan added to the rice and the eggs. Put the burner in the back way down low, and I have a couple of heat diffusers to uh, keep things simmering, but not Sticking. That's my story anyway. Hopefully that camera's taking this all in this time. But anyways, there we are. Uh, might have been a teeny bit lean on the rice. I'm not sure until we check it out at lunchtime, but I think it'll be fine. I guess that I'll have my lunch guest give it the thumbs up or a thumbs down or maybe yes, maybe no. So, Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out with my first <laughs> cooking show, so to speak. <laughs>